Hi everyone, welcome to this video tutorial on how to create and configure the Syncfusion Angular app bar component in an Angular application. I will also showcase how to configure a few of this component's basic features, such as changing the color, size, and position of the app bar. Using an Angular app bar component, you can display information and actions. You can also use it for branding, adding screen titles, and navigation relating to the current screen. Let's start with the application creation process. First, I initialize my app using the Angular CLI. I will use VS Code as the editor and show the output in the Chrome browser. In VS Code, I install the CLI tool globally using the npm install global angular CLI command. Then, I create a new Angular project using the ng new command and provide the app name, my Angular project. I am asked to add Angular routing and enter no. Then I choose CSS as the stylesheet format. I navigate to the location where my new project has been created. To start using the app bar component, I install the navigations package using the command ng add at Syncfusion EJ2 Angular Navigations. Before going any further, I need to register the Syncfusion trial license key. I open the main.ts file and import the register license method from the Syncfusion EJ2 base package. Using this method, I register the Angular trial license key. From the 2022 Volume 1 release, the trial license key is mandatory for Angular products to avoid a licensing warning. To see where to generate a trial license key, check the description below. Next, I navigate to the app module page, where the app bar module has been imported from the Syncfusion EJ2 Angular Navigations package and registered in the imports array of the ng module. I don't require any additional modules, so I remove all of them. In the style.css file, the material theme styles have been added. In the app.component.html file, I replaced the default code snippets with an EJS app bar tag. Let me run this application using the command ng serve. Here you can find the app bar at the top of this page with empty content. Now, let me show you how to design the app bar with buttons and other controls. This is the design I've chosen for the app bar. First, I'm going to add the menu button. I install the Syncfusion button package using the command ng add at Syncfusion EJ2 Angular buttons. Please note that the module file is automatically updated with the button module when the button's package is installed. Next, I add the division element with the inline style as float left, which acts as a wrapper for the button and search box. Then, I include the EJS button component with the CSS class property to set a custom style for the button and assign the name, eInherit, and item. To set a menu icon for the button component, I add the icon CSS property and set the class name ZIcons and eMenu. With the help of this class, we can display the menu icon on the button. Then, I add a span tag with the classes regular and item and set the content to Essential Studio for Angular to show a title in the app bar. Next, I'm going to add a search box. I add the content division tag to act as a wrapper element and add 300 pixels as the inline style width and 5 pixels as the margin top.
Then, I add the class name item. I include a span tag with the class names e input group, e control wrapper, and e inherit. I add the input tag with the type text. And the class names e search input, e input, and item. These built in classes are used to align the search input element. To show the hint, I add the placeholder property and assign the text search. Then I add a span tag to display the search icon and add the class names, e icons, and e search. Adding these built in classes will display the search icon in the input element. I also assign the built in class, e input group icon to align the search icon inside the input element. In the style element, I set the margin and font weight to align each item in the app bar. And set the menu button icon font size to 16 pixels. The menu button, title, and search input element were added to the app bar. From the design, you can see the other controls added to the right side of the app bar. Let me proceed to add the other elements to the app bar. To add a space between the app bar content, I add a span element with the class name eAppBarSpacer. Then, on the app bar, we can see a vertical line, which is nothing but a separator. To show a separator, I add the span element with the class name eAppBarSeparator. Next, I add the anchor tag with the class name item to create a hyperlink to the web page. Then, I add the hyperlink property and assign the Syncfusion demo link. And add the content, demos. In the same way, I add an anchor tag for the forum with the Syncfusion forum link. And another one for an upgrade. Then, in the style element, I add a few styles such as text decoration, font, and padding to align the anchor tag. At last, I add a button with the content, free trial. I add the CSS classes E inherit and item. When this button is clicked, it should navigate to the Syncfusion trial page. So, I add the click event to the free trial button. And assign the callback method, navigate to page. I open the app component TS file to define the event handler, navigate to page. I add the window location hyperlink property and assign the free trial URL link. And now, the app bar renders with the provided design. You see the menu button and search box on the left side and demos, forum upgrade, and free trial buttons on the right. Spacers and separators divide the content. When I click the demos, it navigates to the Syncfusion demo page. I navigate back to the home page and click the free trial button to navigate to the Syncfusion trial page. Next, I will show you the built in colors that can be applied to the app bar light, dark, primary, and inherit. The default color mode is light. To change it to primary color, I include the color mode property and set its value to primary. Looking here, the app bar renders with the primary color mode. Next, I will show you how to position the app bar. You can position it at the top or bottom. The default position is the top. To position an app bar at the bottom of the content, I include the position property and set its value to the bottom. Now the app bar is at the bottom of the page. Finally, I will show you the different sizes of the app bar. Just now, I showed you a regular app bar, which is the default size. The other types are prominent and dense. To render a prominent app bar, I add the mode property and set its value to prominent. I set the CSS class to the prominent app bar.
In the style section, I define the prominent CSS class. I add the background image, background size, color, background repeat, and height. At last, I'll comment out a few items in the app bar, as I plan to display only the menu icon, title, and free trial button. And add the class prominent to the title. And change the app bar position to the top. Checking now, the size of the app bar is prominent. In this video, I showed you how to configure the Syncfusion Angular app bar component using the Angular CLI tool and the Syncfusion EJ2 Angular Navigations package. I also showed you how to configure a few of the control's basic features. You can download a working example of this from the GitHub link in the description for this video. I've also included a link where you can see if you're eligible for our community license, which will provide you with a free license key to use our products. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel.